crafty friends it's audra monk the crafty yogi and welcome to the crafty corner and two o'clock tuesday we're gonna take a yoga break um but first i want to show you something super fun uh let's see what do i have coming up in studio uh tomorrow i have just cards uh three great cards so actually i do have a spot one empty spot if someone wants it um and then next week all right let me show you this i am oh there's a glare from the the light look at that i am loving halloween so I am making all sorts of cute Halloween stuff. And this is our sampler class uh, for uh, next week. So you can definitely sign up to join me for that. All right, let's take that yoga break though. So sit or stand so that you feel your feet on the floor. Hold on, I gotta move a pen of paper. <laughs> oh, you know, you run out of like a horizontal space and you just start putting stuff on the floor and that's okay. All right, so sit up on your sit bones, feel nice and steady there. And let's gently roll the shoulders. Oh, ooh, mine are really sore back there. Mostly, I think, because of some yoga yesterday. Um, oh, one more time, but a little bit from cutting paper. And, you know, um, so actually today, you guys are going to know, um, my paper crafters out there, this is lots of big shot work, right? So we need to release the wrists and the fingers too. But um, anyway, let's get started. So come on in. And take your fingers and spread them wide and press finger into finger and lift your elbows high. Good. Squeeze your belly in gently. And a little bit of action here. So I feel my palms pressing. I feel my fingers pressing. I feel my arms are active. My shoulders are active. My belly's in. And I feel my feet on the floor. Good. And we breathe here. And then take your fingers and tip them away from you. Ooh, that stretch feels good. And feel that stretch. Good. Breathe here. All right. And then bring it back to center. Now take your fingers towards you and feel that stretch. Press into the hands. Good. Breathe here. All right. And then bring it back to center. And now take your fingers and cup them like a little ball and only let the tips touch. So like you were holding a balloon or something really soft. Okay. Now keeping that super light, Roll your shoulders down and back. Good. And then interlace your fingers, press your palms down. Inhale, scoop your arms up. And exhale and bring them down. Good. So take in a nice little oh, stretch here. All right. Next one, we're going to make it into a twist. Are you ready? So hands come up. And then right as you hit the up, when you're ready to exhale, turn to one side or the other. Let your arms come all the way out. And you can bring one hand to the back of your chair or your hip. Your other hand can come to your leg and you breathe here. Looking over the shoulder. Good. Taking a couple deep breaths. All right, let's take those arms back out. Bring them all the way up. Interlace them just for a moment. And then turn the other way and let them come on down. Uh, front hand to the front leg, back hand to the chair behind you, or hand to the hip. So whatever is working works. Good. Looking over the shoulder. Taking a couple long, deep breaths. All right. One more breath. And then we're going to take those arms out again. Take them out wide. Bring them up, turn back to center, and bring your hands to your heart. All right, next up. Uh, pick a hand, any hand you want. Actually, you know what? Let's do both hands first. First, roll your wrists around. We're going to stretch the wrists, and we'll stretch them one at a time, but maybe they need a little bit of movement, especially if we have arthritis in the hands and the fingers. It's good to give them some movement uh, before we stretch them. There's a really fun uh, saying. Uh, I'm pretty sure it comes from physical therapists. Um, Motion is lotion. All right, so uh, top of the arm is up, palm is up, reach your hand and gently pull it back. There you go. Good, breathe in here. So you gotta move things, and if you move it first, then it can, a stretch usually feels really, really good. Good, breathe in here, and then release the wrist and take the same arm, oh, oh and pull it across. I have a, my shoulders are really tight today. You can hold the lower arm or the upper arm. Some people do the whole arm. Um, I tend to hold with my hand, but any is fine. This will get across the back and it'll get the deltoid. Good, so breathing here. Ah, so these little five minute breaks are so good to do. Do them while you're crafting, 
Do them uh, when you're working on the computer, when you're cleaning the house, uh, working at your desk. Okay, other side. And you know what? Even if, okay, palm up. Even if you have an active job, you know, maybe uh, you're a gardener or, or you like to garden or you work in a grocery store stocking shelves, we need to stretch from that too. Um, maybe you're, you know, if you drive uh, people, um, I would think about Uber drivers and stuff. Um, you need a release for your head, neck, and shoulders. All right, bring your arm across. Ha 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 ha. And sometimes you get a good ha 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 stretch. Oh, that feels so good. And we're breathing here. Oh, so it's always fun to spend a couple minutes with you guys. So I really appreciate when you give me comments and uh, likes and loves that lets me know that I'm throwing it out there and someone is listening. So it's always kind of fun. All right, release this gently. Let's roll the shoulders. Ooh, I feel good. I'm ready to get back to work because you know what? I got to create one more thing. And then, you know, half of the crafting work is working on the computer with blog posts and stuff. So I got to work on that this afternoon. If you uh, have questions, comments, requests, you want to know more about crafting, you want to know more about yoga, uh, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you so very much and stay crafty. Have fun. Be well.